Well, we're here in the second game. It would have been nice if the uh, managers and umpires would have let us at least get the lineup so we don't know what's happening here yet. We'll try and catch up. You're right on Mike Brookshaw. For the shortstop. One, two, three inning. Guests and them as home. What? That's how they're banned. Okay. Son of a bitch. Piss me off. All right, Jake Mondor flies out for the first out of the inning. Bottom of the first. Oh and one. On the hill is a left-hander, Alex Helmer for the cards. One and one. Foul back, one and two. BCTV bringing you second game of today's doubleheader. Ball, even the count at two apiece. Right field, Owen tracking it down, puts it away. Owen Schumer with a fine play. Brings up Jordan Lumen, the shortstop, number 14. Do you like one on the hitter? Two outs, bottom of the first, nothing, nothing. Broadcasters Club bringing you the double header today. High, one and one. Alex's first time on the mound for this young season. Cards won the first one today, nine, nothing. Two and one. Hey. 
Be all right too. Count full in the dirt. Three and two. All right, in place, scooped up by Brookshaw, fired across for the 6-3 put out, and a 1-3, 1-2-3 inning for the Cards, and that, after one complete, Amory nothing, the Cardinals nothing here on PCTV. All right, leading off the top of the second here, second game of today's doubleheader, number two, the catcher, Austin Tulip. Whacked the third, picked up by Grasser, fight across the diamond for a 5-3 put out. Brings up the left-hander, Alex Helmer. Pitcher in this game. Do you like one? Ball one and one. Boosters Club bringing it two today. First National Bank of River Falls to Prescott Station. Croy Insurance up on the hill in the BMO Bank building. On an auto family dentistry, Loberg office. Ooh, well hit ball. Woo, yep, yep. I agree. Went over the bag fair, but landed foul. See what the umpire calls it. I'm looking right down the line. I could go with either one. Yeah. I think it went fair when it went over the bag, but when it landed, it was foul. So let's see what the gentleman calls. Yep, I agree. It was a good call. He did. I'm looking right down, absolutely right smack down the line here, folks. And uh, it was so close, and the home plate ump overruled it, and it was a fair ball. Yep. Yes, it hit before the base, went right over the base, and then landed foul after it was past first base. Brings up Charlie. Charlie Brookshaw for the cards. Number 21, man in first base.
going to have a little discussion here, I guess, for a little bit. But you know what? The umpire is probably going to win it. He always does. Unless it's a rules interpretation call, there's not a lot you can do. All right, Charlie Brookshaw steps into the plate with Alex Helmer, two left-handers in a row for the cards. Been a couple weeks since we've had three left-handers in a lineup for the Cardinals at the same time. Ground out to the pitcher, back, fired to second, got the lead runner. Clean to Alex off the base for the FC. Charlie takes his place. Brings up Owen Schumer with two outs. Strike one. Top of the second, nothing, nothing here. The second of two. Cards won the first one, nine to zip. Bounce, good job by the catcher to block it. One and one to Owen. Prescott Insurance in downtown Prescott along with most pharmacy, members of our Boosters Club. Staying alive, one and two. Colin Bursick on the hill right now for Amory. Ooh, rips it down the left field line, but foul. Hard hit ball. Drop the curveball in there, I agree. You can't be a spectator on a one and two count or a two and two count because uh, he threw the curveball, dropped in there, third out of the inning. And after one and a half, it's Prescott zero, Amory zero here on PC TV. Brings up number 12, Lance Hornbostel. He's the center fielder. Plays in Alex Helmer. Ball one from Alex. One and one. Nice pitch, Alex. side off the end of Mason's glove. He didn't touch it. That's a single. Brings up number five, the pitcher, Chris Bursick. 
Colin Bursick, excuse me. Had to pitch out almost, but not quite. Strike one. One on, nobody out. Bottom of the second. Nothing, nothing. Second of two games. The left hander throws over to first just to shorten him up a little bit. Hard hands in mind for us, got chiropractic and Wisconsin Credit Union all in the North Acres Business Plaza. Foul. 0 oh 2. Ball high. 1 and 2. fishing. You sent him up north for the big muskie and yeah, that's a strikeout. Is it one out or two? One. Brings up number 23. The first baseman, Justin Smith. Again, shorten him up at first. Ball one. D right, one and one. One one count, one out. Coach Fisk talking to his hitter and his runner. Town and Auto Family Dentistry providing quality dental care for the city of Prescott for over 20 years. Stop and visit Dr. Michael and Dr. Hillary. Hillary, excuse me. Town and Auto Family Dentistry, another booster club member. All right, Alex Helmer to the plate. New. Smith swings through it. One and two. To right field, that's going to fall in. Nope, 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 single. Runner didn't know if he was going to get it there or not, so he had to hold up. Two on, one out. Bottom of two. Brings up number 19, Broden Smith. Broden Shock, excuse me, he is the catcher. Broden Shock, number 19. All right, coach wants to talk to his hitter again. Two on, one out. Anything in the outfield may score one. Got Hornbostel on second base. Center fielder with fair wheels. Ball high. Foul back. One and one. Hey, 
All right, Smith waiting for the ball. Alex checking the runners. Coming to the plate. Well hit ball going to center field deep. Oh, Charlie Taston couldn't quite get there. Caught it on the first hop. Going to score one. And Amory dents the scoreboard first. one nothing Amory on a double by Broden Smith. The deep left center field. Gets Amory on the board. Brings up number three, the third baseman, Riley Grasser. Pinch runner for the catcher, thank you. All right, Grasser with two men in scoring position on second and third. Ball high. Steer right, one and one. All right, Helmer to the plate. Ground to the third, short one. Mason's got to go across the diamond. Nice pick by Charlie Brookshaw, but the run does score. He was heading on contact. Did we get another score? Yep. Second out. Wasn't hit hard enough for Mason to come home. Two outs. Brings up number 10, John Marquand. He is the DH. Ball one. Steer your right, even a count of one apiece here. Yeah, the crowd's been eating hot dogs and bratwurst and uh, smell of the popcorn coming up the stairs. One and one, two outs, two in, cards down two nothing. Two and one. Ooh, it's going to the right side. Oh, oh, great play, but. Got to give him a hit. Absolutely great play, but a single. Clay dove on his belly, knocked it down, but couldn't quite make the throw. Brings up top of the order in Jake Mullendor. Did they score one? Yep. Three nothing. Three nothing. You're like one. Foul back. Oh and two. Wasn't like the fall balls we were getting up here last Friday that were rattling the shed. That's a strikeout. There's a man on first. He can't go anywhere. And that's the third out of the inning. And at the end of... Two complete here at Fire Hall Field. Prescott's behind 3-0 here on PCTV.
heart was so easy, so easy. Launch your assault now. Take it easy. Okay. All right, top of the third. Cardinals trail three nothing to Amory here in game two. Jeremy Navarro strides up to the plate, DH in for this game. Colin Bursick on the hill for Amory. Ball one. Ball two. PlayOnSports.com bringing you streaming baseball online for Escott, Wisconsin versus Amory. Ball three. Three and oh count. He'll get a take. Bursick from the windup. No, no. And there's a walk. One on, nobody out. Charlie Tayson, number 14, center fielder for this game, steps into the batter's box. Bursick checking the runner. Gorgeous night again here at Fire Hall. Here I go one, Charlie, big tall guy, he's got a lot of strike zone. Ball one and one. Skipped it. Two and one. Remember the Boosters Club, say thanks when you stop in or go by, see the owner. So in how Chevrolet been with us for our years. Toninato Dentistry, First National Bank, inside, 31. All right, here's that hitter's count thing. Twins are in Detroit tonight. I believe they face Verlander, I'm not certain. I hope not. And Charlie takes it for a walk. Oh, runners on first and second. Nobody out. Brings up top of the order, Clay Seifert. Hello. Ball high. Game two, Cards win the first one, nine nothing. Amory jumps out three nothing here in the second one. I don't know how many innings we're going to play if they decided five or seven. The sun will dictate that. But Amory, I don't believe, has played much and they need to get some games in so we said let's play two time out on the hill with the count two nothing two on nobody out here in the third on pc tv we'll be back when we decide what's going to happen here car in case you get into a tough accident, come to St. Croix Insurance here in Prescott, Wisconsin. Let's go get some insurance. Wouldn't it be nice if we were old and we wouldn't have to wait so long? And wouldn't it be nice to live together in the kind of world where we belong? No one's gonna make it that I am Strike one to Clay Seifert. 
two on, nobody out. Cardinal trying to claw back in this. Go right two. Two and two is the count. Ball inside, takes the count to full. All right, Marty Harris on deck. Charlie Taysen on first. Yeah, right. That's the called variety. He's called it there all day, long, all day long in both games. The umpires have been very consistent with the strike call. This gentleman was not going to give you the high strike, but he's consistent with what he calls all the time. All right, two on, one out. Marty Harris at the plate. Ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Mr. Bursick having a tough time finding the plate here. Two walks and a strikeout, and he's got Marty at 3-0. and oh. Mike Brookshaw on deck. Strike one. All right, three and one, two on, one out. Top of three, cards trail three nothing. You're all right, two. All right, we got that full count again. Popped up on the infield, runners are gonna have to tuck in tight. Infield fly rule is called. F4, two outs. Brings up the shortstop, number seven, Mike Bookshaw. Ball one, low outside. Two ducks on the pond, they've been there, haven't moved for the last two hitters. Ball high, high, way high. Good thing they should, the catcher's tall. Good portion of the crowd hasn't gone home. Still a nice crowd down right field. Three and oh. You're like right, one. Still two on, two out. Nobody in. Cards trail three nothing. Top of the third. April 29th, 2013. Second of two games today. Cardinals won the first one nine nothing. Mike gets a walk. Wasn't even close enough for him to weigh that. And that's going to fill the bases for Austin Tulip. Austin was hit the ball well. Pretty much most of the day. Austin Grounder to the third baseman his last time up. Steer like one. All right, come on, Austin. Find a hole. New ball high. Ball 
Ball two. PCTV, channel 16, channel 18, broadcasting from Prescott High School and City Hall. All right, Bursick to the plate. Two, ball inside. Our hitters, the guys who can hit the ball well, haven't had much to swing at. Mr. Bursick has been ineffectively wild. And walked one in. Well, Austin gets an RBI the easy way. I get to color in one of those little squares. And we got to run. Things are looking up. Cars down 3-1. We've got one of those meetings on the mound again. The boys are heading to Somerset tomorrow. Friday, they'll be back home with New Richmond coming to town. We'll travel to Somerset tomorrow and put them on tape so we can uh, replay them to you. I see the middle of the week looks like uh, we're going to have a little bit of remission here and back into the ishy weather. Let's hope it doesn't last too long. All right. Brings up number 16, Alex Helmer. Alex with a hit his first time up. Still a right one. Ooh, foul back. We were paying attention. They come right back at us here in the scorer shed at Fire Hall. You got it. If you're broadcasting, you're up here. You got to pay attention. Paul had a hurt jump start on Friday. All right, Bursick to the plate. Helmer waiting. New trying to drop something in there. It's not there. One and two. All right. Alex fouls it. Ooh, that one might stay in the park. Nope. Just barely over the fence out of play. Count remains one and two. All right. Colin Bursick to the plate. Going to second. Ooh, he boots it. Oh, just barely, but I think he got him, and it doesn't matter what we think. All I know is that it was a 4-3 scoring play for the third out, but the Cards did get a run, and at the end of two and a half, it's the Cardinals 1, the Amory Warriors 3 here on PCTV. We can count that score? No, that one does not. Okay. That one does not. <laughs> Lots of base runners but not much for results. Lots of base runners. All right, Alex Helmer goes back out onto the hill. A boutique and a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you've got till it's gone They pay paradise, put up a parking lot Stepping up to the plate, Sam Schiffer, now playing right field for the Warriors. Bottom of the third, Amory is up three to one. Ball one. Ball two. 
on Alex. Going strikes, buddy. A few different people in different places this game. Alex on the hill. Charlie Brookshaw coming into man first base. Charlie Chasen going to second. Jeremy Navarro, DH in this game. Foul back. I was waiting for it. We thought we were going to get the big rainbow on top of us. That we get a few of those a year. Two and one. Three and one. Do you right? Three and two. Full count. All right. The payoff pitch coming up. Elmer versus Schiffer. Ooh. And Schiffer wins the battle and trots down to first base with a walk. All right, we're going to have a bunch of switching around here. See who's going to happen, and we're going to take a little time out here on PC TV and see what's going to happen. We're going to have a new pitcher come in the game here, and we're going to take a time out. Marty Harris back on the hill for the Cardinals. In relief, Alex Helmer. Alex went a couple innings. Oh, there he goes. Oh! Twice we would have thrown him out today if the throws are to the base, because the ball was there, but it was to the right of the base or to the right field side, and that's a stolen base. Ball one on the hitter. Jordan Lewin, shortstop for the Warriors. Two and zero, oh, comebacker. Marty checks him. It's a boy, it's a boy. Nice, smart play by Marty Harris. Checked the runner, the runner took off, and he was caught out in no man's land, and they knock off the lead runner. Very nice play by the Cardinal defense. Very nice play. Uh, that's a 1-5-4 put out of fielder's choice over here, and we still got a runner on the base. And one out. Brings up number 12, Lance Hornbosco, center fielder. Ball one. Well, 
Oh, let's see. Oh, and nope, he could not get it. Great effort by Mr. Schumer, though. Kept it in front of him, went down for it, but it could not get to it. Wasn't for lack of effort. Push runners at first and second with one out. Boy, I thought he had it. Awful nice try there, Mr. Schumer. Brings up number five, Colin Bursick, the pitcher. Soft liner in the center. Alex gets it on one hop. He's coming to the plate. All right. So we got Warriors on all the bases. Mr. Bursick hits a soft liner in the center field. Alex fielded it cleanly and got it in quickly to stop the run, but it is a hit. Brings up number 23, Justin Smith. Courtesy runner for the pitcher. Thank you, coach. 3-1, but the Warriors are threatening. Base is loaded, one out. Well, a comebacker or a two-ball would be real nice about now. Strike one. Popped up. Back out of play. 0-2. Quickly, Owen, too. Come on, Marty. Work on him here. Nope. One and two. When Marty tries to throw that curveball, he falls off towards first base a little bit. All right, one and two. One out, base is loaded. Foul at the plate. Count remains one and two. Third inning of the second game on the evening. Cardinals win the first one 9-0. Amory leads this one 3-1. Ball low. Two and two. Cardinals looking to put a Band-Aid on it here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, here we are. One out, base is loaded, three and two. Not quite the ultimate setup. We had one of those earlier today. They fouled again. Mr. Smith staying alive. He's seen a bunch of pictures. Yep, he's been consistent. That's the base on balls. You got to color in one of those little squares, but unfortunately it's for Amory. I think it's only four depth to one. Scores four? No, 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 yeah, four to one. How do I do that? Ho, ho, ho. Let me help you here in a second. Ball. I'll tell you. One and one. One out, bases remain full. Broden Smith had a big hit his last time up. Two and one. Three and one.
Card down by three in the bottom of the third. Come right. on, Marty. One more, buddy. Ooh, fouled at the plate. He's had him a couple times, but the Emory hitters have fought him off. Popped up on the infield. That's a break for the card. Center fielder calls it, and Alex runs it in. Oh, no. Whew. Luckily, nobody was going anywhere. No, did they get a score? Nope. That was an adventure. Still, score remains. Score remains 4-1. Now he's got a little overzealous on that one. Brings up number three, the third baseman, Riley Grasser. Riley grounded out to the third baseman his last time up. Do you right? Ooh, a nice curveball. Well, why is it two strikes? It shouldn't be two strikes. Right? One strike? Yep. Yeah. Marty Harris. Pitching his second time in the day, pitching an inning or two in the other game. One and one count. Curves are down 4 1 here at Fire Hall Field. Sun starting to set. Throws that curveball again. All right, Marty, come on, one more. Two outs, one in. Ooh, hit well to center field. Alex is going to track that one and put it in his pocket for the third out. Amory scores one, and at the end of three innings complete, it's Amory four. Borras got one here on PCTV. That's okay. Well, these other kids got to get some games in too. Tom must have been out fertilizing today. I bet he was. Look at the tracks. Thought mm -hmm. guarantee it. City won't turn the water on for a few days, though. Yeah, last night. <laughs> All right. Here we are, top of the fourth. Charlie Brookshaw at the plate, strike one. Charlie got on a fielder's choice in his first time up. Ooh, hits one to right. Left center, put away by the left fielder for a fly ball out, F7, first out of the inning. Brings up number three, the right fielder, Owen Schumer. Owen almost had a beauty of a catch here earlier. Did a nice job. Ooh, to the shortstop. He scooted down the base paths, pulls him off. No, got him. All right. 
throw, pulled him off the bag. Owen on first base. Brings up number eight, Jeremy Navarro. Jeremy walked his first time up. Schumer on first, Navarro at the plate. Pop foul on the right field line. Back over onto the concrete. That'll put a bite on the baseball. I will guarantee you it's got a issue spot on it. Ball, one and one. Wisconsin Credit Union and North Acres Business Plaza, a booster club member, along with Prescott Insurance in downtown Main Street. All right, Bursic to woo, behind Jeremy's ear. Two and one. One out, one on here in the fourth. Cardinals trail by three. Thirty-one. Most pharmacy in downtown Prescott. And Lowberg Law Office in Uptown Ellsworth, Booster Club member. Thank you from PCTV and PlayOnSports.com. Ball four. Jeremy has not seen anything to really swing at. One out, two on. Brings up number 14, the center fielder, Charlie Tayson. Ball one high. If it's high on Charlie, you're way high. Two on, one out. Top of four. Here at Fire Hall. Ball two. Charlie has not seen a strike in two at bats. Timeout on the field here at PCTV, channel 16, channel 18, Prescott, Wisconsin. See if they're going to bring in a reliever or what they're going to do here. Yep, nope. they're going to do some switching around here. See who wants to come and pitch for what. Looks like Mr. Moore is coming back in. Mr. Bursick is heading to right field. And they're gonna let Cody Moore time up and form up. Charlie Dason still at the plate. Cody Moore coming on to pitch for the Warriors here in the fourth with two on, one out, two and no count on Taysen. 
and they continue to throw him above Charlie's head. Now Charlie's six four. <laughs> He's got a strike zone the size of an ironing board. There's one. At least somebody knows how big an ironing board is, but notice it wasn't Paul and I. <laughs> uh, Charlie gets a walk. You see nine pitches and eight of them have been balls. That brings us back to the top of the order. Khalid Seifert. And we got birds in the bushes all over the place. Bases loaded, one out. Top of the fourth, Cardinals trail by three, four, one. Oh, and there's a run. Ow, plunked him. That always feels good. I hit him up somewhere by the elbow up there. That's not ever good. Owen Schumer scores. Brings up Marty Harris. Steve Reich. 4-2, Cardinals down by two in the fourth. Remember, the Cardinals are the visitor in this game. Second of two. One and one. Cody Moore, Oop. throws it by. One and two to Marty Harris. Popped up, out of play. Count remains one and two. Come on, Marty. Young Mr. Harris has played well here in the early parts of the season. Ooh, he went fishing, but it got a piece of it. Got a nibble, but he didn't get the thing. Count remains one and two, one out. Base is loaded. One in. Card down by two, four, two. Ooh, Marty hits it to center, and I'll score one. Hornboss was coming all the way to the plate. Nope, safe. 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 He was safe, he was by him. And he didn't leave early. What? Oh, I was watching him. I didn't think so. I didn't think so, but guess what? Don't matter. Count re score team. remains 4-2. They uh, didn't watch, get that one? Watch, no, watch. Score. Two. Enter. No, because he left early, so he didn't score. Ooh. I was watching. I was watching. I was like, well, okay. But you know what? The guy in blue, they were looking, but uh, I was watching him right here, right out of my window, and, uh, but unfortunately, he's out. And so are the cards. The fly ball double play deal kind of wiped out the scoring. The guy that I thought scored, is he the one that left early? Yeah. Yep. So, 4-2, Cardinals down by two. Marty Harris on the hill for the cards.
bringing up number 10 for the Warriors. Marquand. Ball one. John Marquand. He is a DH. Ball two. Eric. Down low where you like him. Ooh. 31. Marty Harris on the mound. The second game of today. Pitched an inning or two in the previous game. Walked in. Brings up Jake Mullendore, the second baseman. Mr. Mullendore has flown out to left and been called out on strikes. Ball one. Dear Ike, one and one. Girls will get to play a doubleheader tomorrow. Play a doubleheader at home on Thursday. Track team has a meet tomorrow and Friday. Oh, clean shot. Charlie had to hold the runner and hit it in the hole. But clean single on a well-spanked ball. Brings up number 15, Cody Moore. He is now the pitcher. Came in for Sam Schiffer in the right field. Ball one. Two on, nobody out here. Bottom of the fourth, Cardinals trail by two. Foul at the plate. One and one. All right, Marty, checking the runners. Coming to the plate. Nope, two and one. Golfers got to go to Durand and play today. They're happy. I know about the score, but at least they got to get outside. Oh, nice bunt. Push it down the first baseline. Marty picks it and fires. One out. Nice bunt by Mr. Moore. Move both the base runners up. Brings up number 14, Jordan Lumen. Two runners in scoring position. Their number three hitter in the hole. Here he comes. Two. Stop. Ball one. Grounder, ooh. Mike grabs it, fires across the diamond, but the Great play by Mike Brookshaw. The only play he could make was uh, take it all the way across to first for the second out, but one run did score. John Marquand comes across for the fifth run for the Warriors.
Lance Hornbosch will center fielder at the plate. Ball one. One and one. Runners on second and third, two outs. Excuse me, only runner on second, Jake Mullendore on second. Ball high. Cards looking for the last out here. If they're going five innings, this could be their last up coming up. Hmm. I was paying attention. <laughs> right back over top of my head here. Takes count three and two. All right. Marty Harris payoff pitch. No, by the runner. On a walk. And they throw it away into the outfield and we get another run. The throw you probably don't have to make, but I understand wanting to. I completely understand wanting to. Versick steps up to the plate. Strike one. Strike. Quickly has him down. Owen two. Come on, Marty, finish him off. Got him out. Oh, okay. Called him out. Struck him out. Throw him out. Well, at the end of four innings complete here at Fire Hall Field, it's Amory six, the Cardinals two on PC TV. I'm watching the big. They're not paying attention to the umpire. Surprise, surprise. Moving into the top of the fifth here. I believe it may be the cards last at bat. I don't know if they've decided to go five or seven or what they were going to do. Well, we kind of got the heart of the order up. I mean, if we're going to do it, we've got the guys up we want. Got Mike and Austin and Alex. the top of the fifth, number seven, Michael Bookshaw. Had a pretty good day. There's that shot to left field. Who almost got him. F7. Hit one of his patented slicers over there, but the left fielder happened to be in the right vicinity. One up, one down. Brings up the catcher, number two, Austin Tulip.
Pop back foul. Curry's down by four here. Popped up foul. Foul territory. The first baseman takes care of it for an F3. A little bit of a snow cone there and a smile on his face. Two up, two down. All right, brings up Alex Helmer. Alex banked a couple of them today. All right, here we go. Nope, ball high. Cody Moore on the hill for the Warriors. Steve Reich, one and one. Ball, two and one. All right, here comes Mr. Moore. Popped up. Going down the left field line. Giving chase. Outfielder puts it away. That's the third out. And from the looks of it, that's a five and that's a wrap. And at the end of this one, the cards... Take it on the chin. Warriors win this one 6-2. We'll be heading to Somerset tomorrow. New Richmond will be back on the air Friday night live on PlayOnSports.com. Uh, second game, coach gave a bunch of different kids chances to play, different kids chances to pitch. That's how a young team develops. So first game, the kids played very well. So they split with Amory here today. The Warriors can head home with at least one under their belt. The Cardinals get one under their belt. And Amory, I believe, plays Ellsworth tomorrow. I think they saved Mr. Mullendorf for Ellsworth. Well, PCTV, remember, the big Boosters Club project right now is called Light Up for Escott. Light it up. The Brickyards, we got the fundraiser on the 18th of May on a Saturday. Please stop in if you can. We need the support of the community to bring the lights back to Fire Hall Field. Well, to my cameraman, Paul Most, my statistician and scorekeeper, Deb, this is Dallas again saying good night. And in the words of the immortal Red Green, remember, I'm pulling for you because we're all in this together. And good night night.